Carlos Alcaraz, a shock upset as he goes out of Rome in the third round, losing to the Hungarian qualifier, Fabian Marajan. What an incredible performance. Defeats Alcaraz in straight sets and now set up a fourth round matchup with Borna Charic. And you can see the score line here, 6-3, 7-6. And he was actually 4-1 down in the tie break in the second set and came back to win six points in a row. Unbelievable performance from him. And look at some of these statistics. If we have a look down here, 30 winners, uh, only seven unforced errors to Alcaraz's 15 and 8. I mean, the performance was out of this world. Hitting his forehand with such incredible power that not even Alcalaz could get a lot of them back. One of the performances of the year, it has to be said, because Alcalaz, not an easy person to beat and has been in some real hot form and his favourite to win Roland Garros. Will that now change? We've got Jose Morgado saying the world number 135, Fabian Malazan, uh, facing a top 10 player for the first time, shocks the number two, Carlos Alcalaz, who will be number one on Monday, as we know. Uh, it was 6-3, 7-6 to reach the last 16 in Rome. That's the first time in 19 months that Alcaraz loses to a player outside the top 100. I think we remember the other one. Uh, it was Hugo Gaston in the Paris Masters. And that one, yeah, he sort of fell apart in that from a five love up in one of the sets. Another fantastic stat for Malazan. It is the first career ATP Tour main draw in Rome. The first Hungarian male to reach the last 16 in 42 years. And he defeated, obviously, the world number two, Carlos Alcaraz. This is your moment, Fabian Malazan. There he is. And he looked all focused on court. And this is what he had to say. Just said he just wanted to win a few games. <laughs> That's uh, how he felt about his epic win over Alcaraz. He had a few more words to say, saying everything was perfect today. The crowd, the weather, the court. I think in the tiebreak, I was 4-1 down and I won six points in a row. I don't know what happened during the points. I just tried to hit every ball uh, back and just do my best. Well, he did more than that. He did even better. He, I think he's realized a new level of his game. Some of the shots he was playing were out of this world. He was backpedaling, hitting forehand winners. I've never seen anything like it. And even Carlos Alcalaz, literally the ball was behind him before he could even get to it most of the time. But credit to Marazan, he's playing well. He's beaten Mutet. He's beaten Lehechka. He's now beaten Carlos Alcalaz. And Borna Choric lies in wait. Gil Gross, he has reacted to it. He says, I don't think I'm being a prisoner of the moment when I say that one of the most surprising results we'll see in this decade, Fabian Marazan's first top 100 victory over the number two, about to be number one, coming in on a 12 match uh, win streak, 30 and two overall. It's his third tour W ever. Uh, I think that it is that incredible, this performance, considering the form of Carlos Alcalaz. And you had to play like that. 30 winners, only seven unforced errors. That's the type of tennis that is going to defeat somebody who has the recovery skills of Carlos Alcaraz. He always makes you play another shot. And uh, today, that, that just wasn't enough. A 4-1 lead in the tiebreak normally is clinical. His drop shots just weren't there. That's the one shot that he claims to nail every single time in training. Just wasn't working. They're all falling in the net. And uh, I think he was just in Alcaraz's head rent-free today. And what a fantastic performance from the Hungarian. Let's look at what was happening last month for the Hungarian, though. Yeah, Malazan's form was, was not good at all in April. He was losing to some good challenger players. Obviously, Gianessi, Piros, a very good one, Shalbaya and Weiss. But then as soon as Mays kicked off, he's beaten Luca Nardi, lost close match to Shelton, uh, and then came through the qualifying in Rome. Beat Skatov, beat Melangeli Alves, and then look who he's beaten since he's been into the main draw. It is Mutet, impressive in three sets. Then he beat Lehechka, even more impressive, in three sets. And now he's just gone and beaten Carlos Alcaraz in straight sets. Can he defeat Borna Choric, though? That's the question.
I'll leave that for you to decide. You tell me in the comment section, is he going to go one better? Is he going to go past Borna Cioric next? I want to hear your thoughts. And what do you think about Carlos Alcalaz? Is this going to affect his Roland Garros performance? Do you think he's going to fall down the odds? Is Djokovic going to go above him now? I want to hear your thoughts. Make sure to hit a like on this, subscribe if you're new, and join us for the eager match coming up later.